What is good, y'all? Serial Films, and today we're back at it with another video. We're about to hit the range right now. Um, I have been wanting to get you guys a POV video, a POV shooting video, so that's what we're gonna do now. The reason for this is because I really love POV shooting videos and just POV videos in general. So yeah, let's hit the range and let's send some shots down range with the 43Xs and my G19.4. Y'all haven't seen that in action yet, but let's go. So here we are at the range. Like I said, I do have my custom 43X, my custom Glock 19 Gen 4. Haven't shot that yet and my Apollo Custom 43X. This has been my EDC for a couple months. You guys have seen this build. This is the first build that I actually did. So we're gonna go ahead and run some drills with that since I do carry that and here is the magazines. We did bring 10 magazines, so we're gonna have some fun with that. I did load 50 rounds in here already, so I'm gonna run the drills that I got with that already and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch over. I am running 115 grain blazer. I usually run 124, but couldn't find it this time, so it is what it is. Y'all can see down there, we do have our IDPA target set up. Uh, we won't be shooting from this far. This is just the ready bench. Probably gonna be uh, shooting from the seven, five, seven. Probably all those distances right there. And uh, yeah, first full POV video. Let's see how it goes. I keep the Corey Central's 1.75 inch Molly Battle Belt. So it's my G19 mag. So we're gonna go ahead and throw two uh, G43X mags in there. And we're gonna go down range. We're at the three. So y'all can see we got the IDPA target up there. Ha, ah, come on, baby. All A zones. Oh yeah. You see, I thought I was gonna have an issue when I removed the whole grip off of this, but she, she, I'm just dialed in with this bad whammer jammer already. She's hitting pretty good. It's like. The grouping is pretty decent. This one is the only one that we dropped. So let's run another one from the three and then we'll go ahead and move down back to the five. All right, so let's go. Oh, she's on point. I told y'all she's on point. As y'all can see, we haven't dropped anything. All A zones from the three. We just, that one cracked towards the Charlie zone, but it's mostly in the alpha zone. So not too upset about that. So let's get it in, let's go. Load up some more. Let's go get some of the preloaded mags that we got and let's move a little back to the five. So we're gonna do shoot five. And uh, after this, then I got two over here and one. So we're gonna shoot two, drop mag, reload quickly, and then get back on target. Uh, that's something I've been wanting to train on. So let's get it in. So these five, let's take them nice and slow and let's try and get a real tight grouping on the five. From the five, so we're gonna shoot two, reload, shoot one. Let's go. Go check this target out. So you can see we're falling a little bit up further left on the five, but uh, we do have all A zones. I'm gonna go ahead and load a mag of five, come back down to the five and try and get centered in more into the A. Yeah, we got five in here. Gonna go ahead and run these nice and slow. They're all A zones, that's the good thing, but she is still favoriting this bottom left, which I'm not too upset about because what human sized torso you know is this small. You feel me? That, that's, that's just my my analysis as this we're not dropping any shots so that's good but um we are shooting a little low left let's i'm trying to get in here it's kind of irritating but uh i'm pretty sure right now when i get the 19 out here we're going to be able to hit that easy but let's try and do this uh shoot two reload shoot one so let's get it in that's what i hate about shooting sometimes is that the shot that i pulled i absolutely pulled i was like there's no way he's gonna hit it make it on paper landed almost dead center that's what i don't like about shooting sometimes but hey we got it in the center so that's a good progress we're gonna go ahead and um put this down go pick up the 19 gen 4 with the rating ramjet afterburner and send some shots down range with that we got six in each so it looks like we're gonna be running some build drills for those of you that don't know what the build drill consists of it consists of sending six shots down range as fast as you could from the seven yard line so y'all can see we got the seven marked over there we're gonna go ahead and stand right here right at the seven and send these shots down range as fast as we could we're gonna start with the g17 mag all right Whew, 
Come on, baby, don't let me down. No drop, no, nothing out of the A zone. Gotta give her a little pep talk so she act better. All right, let's go. So, I was a little slow because I just, I'd rather be slow than to pull shots and look, make an ass out of myself. So, let's try to speed this second one up a little bit and try and get them all A zones. As I can see, I'm pretty sure we got everything A zone. So, like I said, if you guys see me going a little slow, it's just because I'd rather take my time and go slow than just start squeezing the trigger, not knowing where those shots are gonna go. So, second build drill, run two, let's go. Let's go as fast as we could. We did drop two on that second build drill. Hmm, nothing too crazy, nothing too upsetting, but yeah, that's something that I do need to work on. Let's go ahead and load some more mags and we'll run a build drill from the three and the five. I was gonna do two build drills, but plan, change of plans. We're gonna go ahead and just run a mag dump from the three and just wet that thing up. We're gonna run. I got a 15 round G19 mag full, and we're gonna see how this thing cycles. Actually, we'll run it from right here. It's probably like the four. It's a little bit past the three, so we're gonna run a mag dump. Let's try to hit all A zones. Woo! We dropped one. Oh, baby, you cycling good, but as y'all can see, we dropped one. Everything else went in, and she is cycling like a beast like i said this is probably like after a thousand rounds with this radiant ramjet afterburner combo and she just cycles and cycles she feels better every time i bring her out here and we don't even got a light yet to reduce some of that muzzle flip but i think we're warmed up now i think we can run that build drill from the five now all right at the five let's run this build drill that build drill cleaned up a lot more as you guys can see on that build drill, we only dropped one. Everything else landed inside. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I think that was way better than the first one. But as y'all can see, man, I got a lot more content coming. Some of you guys got on me for these sights, but I'm at the range in the daytime. I don't carry this at night. This isn't a, a bedside gun, so I don't need night sights right now. Night sights are coming for this soon, but I don't need them right now. As you guys can see, I don't need night sights right now. So stop telling me that I need night sights because it's my build, not yours. I really don't care about your opinion. Let's run that here. We got 10 in here. Let's go. Ooh, baby. She running too. So y'all can see, mag dump with a purpose. We dumped all 10 of those and we hit all A zones. So that's pretty good. I, I love this thing as my EDC. That Glock 19 used to be my EDC and I thought I would never pick up a 43X because that Glock 19 felt so good. But this has replaced that Glock 19 as my EDC. That Glock 19 is just a range toy now. This is my full-time EDC that I always carry. I have roughly, I think 30 rounds with this in here, or 28 rounds. We have 28 rounds. We're gonna send some shots down range and see if we can correct that and get it zeroed as best as possible. So um, I don't have to take it to the gunsmith because even though it's cheap to get it bore sighted, I really don't like taking myself to the gunsmith. I'm one of the, if I can do it myself, I'd rather do that. So nothing wrong with gunsmiths, but if I could do it myself, I'd rather do it. So I messed up y'all. I messed up really bad. I was gonna start from the 25 and move my way in, but uh, we're just gonna have to get closer because uh, I didn't bring my, side adjustment tool so there's no way for me to make adjustments there's nothing small enough here these brass is too, way too small uh let's see not even yeah not even a 22 size bullet would help me do that so we're just gonna go ahead and uh shoot from the seven and see if we can get in there if we can't get in there from the seven that means that it's definitely off because you guys saw my fd 43x gets in there from the seven without it so i also don't have much red dot experience so don't get at me, I'm still learning on it. But let's go, let's send a couple slow. Let's see how we did with that. Five shots that we sent down range from the seven. We got one, two, three, four. Oh no, one, two, three, four. So we got all five in there. Good shit, so she's not too terribly off. We dropped that one. So that one that we dropped far left, that had nothing to do with the dot, that had everything to do with me pulling it. I knew I pulled that, but uh, it's not too far sided off. You can see we dropped this one and this one, 
but let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we got ten in there so gonna go ahead and pasty this back up from the seven let's go oh okay okay that's a lot harder to pick up you see i have very li limited experience with this and like i told you guys earlier i'm not gonna make an ass out of myself by pulling shots that are not there and i'm not comfortable with so i'm probably gonna be real slow on this build drill so oh yep i made an ass out of myself this did definitely need some work but uh yeah y'all can see we got two next to each other so i'm not sure how all these other four dropped out um let's see let's take some slow ones from the seven and try to clean that up i think it's just my my shooting with with uh red dots i'm not too good at it yet because uh it's really hard for me to even pick up the sight whenever i first pull it up as opposed to an iron sight but let's see let's go slow Let's go see how we did. I can see that we did drop one next to the other one. We dropped this one next to all the other four, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, all up here close, like I said. I think this was all just user error. I don't know how to line that dot up yet, and I'll take full fault for that. I have probably like less than 400 rounds through a red dot myself, so I don't have that much experience. But one, two, three, four, five, six. We did get six in almost in the A zone. Two got dropped and the rest here. But uh, that's something to work on. I am going to adjust this a couple, probably one click or two clicks to the right. See if we can hit a little bit more right. And next rain session that we come in, I'm hoping to clean this up. Probably won't be rolling no fast drills with this anytime soon until I actually get some better training. I get comfortable with it. But we will be bringing this every range session from now on and doing slow drills until I do pick up that proficiency to be able to run fast drills. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. We got dope bunch of dope content coming. We got that 357 SIG coming soon. Bear Creek Arsenal reviews coming soon. Uh, Warrior Land reviews coming soon. Another Corey Central's review coming soon. So, yeah, stay tuned. And also check out Corey Central's use code Zero Films 10 for a 10% discount. But, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and peace.